The following is a series of movements and exercises to gain mobility within the hips. We're going to start laying on our back, draw the right knee into the belly and chest, and maybe letting the left leg extend. And then you're going to take that same leg and you're going to start to circle it. We call these knee stirs. And so essentially what's happening here is the leg is stirring inside of the hip socket, going in one direction for a few rounds, and then we'll switch directions and go in the opposite. And so we're just starting to loosen up the muscles, loosen up the joints. And then you'll hug your knee back into the chest for a moment before letting it relax and release back to the mat. And then switching sides, drawing the left knee in, maybe reaching the right leg out so it's flat on the mat or keeping a soft bend to the knee. And then once again, stirring the leg inside the hip socket, going in one direction to start. You might notice that this side feels a little more fluid than the other or the opposite. It might feel a little bit more challenging, almost like it gets stuck inside the hip socket. And so these are great things to pay attention to, just learning how your body feels in certain exercises, just kind of learning the different sides of your body, the different areas and places within your joints that are feeling tension or again, feeling just a challenge. And then once again, after switching the direction of the circle, you'll hug the knee back in and release the legs. So bending your knees and planting your feet on the mat, we're gonna go into some pelvic tucks and tilts. I'm reaching my arms overhead so you can see more clearly my pelvis movement. The pelvis tuck or the pelvic tuck is a posterior tilt. And so the low back presses into the mat, the tailbone tucks up towards the ceiling, and then the anterior tilt is going to tilt the tailbone towards the floor, allowing for the low back to arch. So this is a very subtle, very minimal movement, gaining movement into the pelvis, the hip sockets, and even the low back, the lumbar spine. Make sure your breath is still flowing, deep inhales, deep exhales, and finally releasing the legs and then rolling yourself up to a seat. So you'll see how I'm positioning myself here. My right leg is bent forward and the left leg is bent. My foot is slightly behind me. The left hip is gonna be the focus here. We're gonna send the left hip forward. And so taking the sit bone and the glutes off of the mat and then sending the left hip back down. You're more than likely gonna feel a lot of sensation in this. As you send the left hip forward, you feel the extension across the hip flexor and maybe even feeding down into the quad muscle of the front of the leg. As the left hip comes back to the floor, again, you're more than likely feeling some sensation in the hip flexor, but maybe a little bit more down into the inner thigh or the groin area of the pelvis. You might also notice that I have a slight twist rotation action going with the spine. I'm just following my hips. So doing just a couple more, reaching the left hip forward and reaching it back down. And then you're simply going to switch sides, swing the left leg out in front, swing the right leg back behind now the right hip is the focus, right hip sends forward, and then the right hip sends and pulls back. Keep your torso lifted. We don't want to be crunching into the low back. We don't want to be rounded in the spine. And again, you might notice here a difference between the left and the right side. And so just becoming aware and paying attention to those differences. Okay. 
And again, just a couple more. And then we're gonna to transition to a hip opening stretch, which you're gonna need a chair for this. So sitting on the edge of the chair, the right ankle will come on top of the left knee. The shoulders pull back from the chest and soften away from the ears. The right knee, as you see, I'm kind of pressing the knee down to help externally rotate the leg again inside the hip socket. The sensation here is going to be felt in the outer hip and the outer glutes of that right leg. This is your piriformis muscle. And I'm also going to show you a side profile view. So you can see how my spine is straight. I'm leaning forward or I'm hinging forward, but I'm not rounding or collapsing in the chest or the shoulders. And then when you're ready, you'll switch sides. So now the left ankle comes on top of the right knee. And if you can, leaning forward to deepen the sensation of the stretch. Again, one side is more than likely gonna be a little different, might be a little tighter than the other. So don't force yourself and keep breathing. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining this recording, this video of a few of my favorite hip mobility exercises. I hope you continue to work on your joint mobility. Hips are a really, really important area of our body. I oftentimes even do this stretch that you're seeing that you're doing right now while traveling on the plane. You could do it in your office, at work, or even at home.